M-I-Z Z-A-H is to show up is a T It's to show up is a T Hey that fools Big T here and I'm back with another video a disembodied video Phalanges uh, This video will be an unpopular opinion which is like I guess kind of a, a meme going around where a lot of people use and they state a quote unquote unpopular opinion. And so this one is my unpopular opinion of uh, my preference of the Nintendo gamepad and its um, potential. Uh, I like it better or I prefer it over uh, the portability of Nintendo Switch. So the Wii U gamepad, uh, what it has to offer, uh, I prefer that over the Nintendo Switch. And we, I got to thinking about this because um, I put up a post recently about uh, my purchase of uh, another Wii U game, uh, Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival, which is, uh, they're basically giving that game away. Because <laughs> you get two Amiibo, some Amiibo cards, and uh, uh, the game. All for $9.99 free shipping uh, from, I don't know if Amazon does it, but I know definitely um, GameStop has that deal. And that's not really a deal. That is their regular everyday price for the game. So um, they are giving it away at this point. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I put up a, a tweet and got responses and whatnot. And some people, you know, start reminiscing about Wii U. And uh, I think it was Robert's Rule 2 Review. Um, <clears throat> don't quote me on that, but I think it was him who said uh, he would rather have that over... He would rather have the portability or the, uh, the gamepad stuff over uh, the portability of the Switch. And I was like, I'm probably in that camp too. Not that the portability isn't awesome, because it is. Um, but my portability... Uh, mostly happens in-house so um, I know a lot of people had problems with the gamepad range and whatnot but I never really did until I went upstairs in my house maybe uh, second and a half floor uh, but I never really had any issues with uh, the range I can go in the bathroom all that kind of stuff I never had a problem so and you guys have seen you know me put tweets out there about, uh, you know, having my switch in a road, how awesome it is to do that. But, you know, over a year's time, you're talking about maybe three instances where, where I do that. And, uh, sure. I take it uh, to work with me and I play it during some planning period sometimes or uh, my lunch period, but I don't have to do that. I can live without that. Um, when the, uh, before the Switch was coming out, uh, you know, people would talk about what they want uh, to come over. People wanted the Miiverse, and uh, they also still wanted that second screen, uh, you know, gamepad experience. Well, some people did anyway. Um, uh, most people did at the time, or they didn't say anything. It wasn't until the Switch came that they started to kind of, oh no, the gamepad is terrible. Because <laughs> you didn't really hear that then. Uh, but um, people would go back and uh, kind of change their argument and saying, oh, no, no, I can't deal with playing off TV or please not playing off TV, but playing with two screens and whatnot. And some of these people, a lot of these people have, you go to their houses, they have like, you know, three monitor setups with, you know, editing suites and, you know, they'll be editing, uh, watching, uh, Netflix <laughs> at the same time, no problems, but they couldn't deal with having to look up and down occasionally uh, on their game pads to the TV screen. Now, some games were more intense than others, like, but so, most of those games were not built for you to play looking up and down. Um, it, it, I never had a problem with it. So, so I contend that a lot of that stuff was just afterthought oh this is why you know the Wii U failed or whatnot people would say um, but I, I just never 
fell in that camp. Uh, but somebody mentioned that, um, I think it was Super Metal Dave said he had played uh, Deus Ex uh, Human Revolution Director's Cut on the Wii U over the weekend on the, uh, and, or I said it already, on the, on the Wii U. And uh, the gamepad, uh, the gamepad stuff, and that game was awesome, and it was. It was how you should, or how Nintendo should have utilized the gamepad more in games. It was pretty, pretty amazing. And, and that's what I talk about when I say potential, because what we actually got with the gamepad uh, didn't reach the potential. Um, I think Rob even said one of his biggest pains <laughs> is that uh, he'll never get to play uh, Metro Prime 4 using a gamepad, which, you know, people at the time had many videos and how it could be utilized and there was a lot of clever stuff out there. I made one, my video was, it wasn't as clever, <laughs> I'll admit that, but, you know, there was potential there as far as utilizing the gamepad second screen. And one of the biggest games, um, uh, I'll just say Watch Dogs was one of those games where when it came out or when it was before it came out and you knew what the game was about they would talk about or Ubisoft would talk about how um, you know lie about basically how the Wii U was kind of the leading platform for the ideas um, with hacking and all that stuff which really got a lot of people excited including myself and they you know they stripped all that stuff out uh, for the Wii U version and I guess they had to put it out there because they had already put their financial commitment into the game um, but all that cool gamepad potential went away, which was very sad to me. Uh, but one of the, the my biggest regrets, um, I, it's not that I, I controlled it, I made this happen, but one of my biggest uh, <clears throat> sticking points or things that made me uh, groan was when uh, basically Nintendo took the gamepad features for Breath of the Wild out of the Wii U version. And at first, they didn't admit that. They tried to say, oh no, it was distracting, blah, blah, blah. And I knew from the beginning, I said, I called BS. I called BS on Anuma. I was like, that's a lie. Come on. You did it because you didn't want it to be an advantage over the Switch version. And later on, they admitted that, basically, that that's what he took all those features out. So I'm looking at, you know, Breath of the Wild, and um, there will always be something missing to me because I thought about the gamepad. And... There's no, you know, surprise, no if, ands, or what's about it that the gamepad was a integral feature because we have the Sheikah tablet and we pretty much can figure out what the gamepad would have been doing, which would have been flipping awesome. Uh, the stuff you could have been doing on the gamepad. Um, now how, uh, well, I guess you, you wouldn't have dual screens where you're running uh, Breath of the Wild on your TV screen as well as on your gamepad it would have just been relayed to being a Sheikah Slate, basically. So um, I don't know how that would affect it. Uh, performance, if it would affect it a little bit, I doubt it would affect it that much because they were building it uh, for that usage. So I'm sure it would have been just fine. Uh, but I just think about you know being able to um, manage food, uh, cooking and all that stuff in your inventory, all that would have been so much better to be able to do that on the gamepad, um, especially looking back now, and you know having to use the kind of quick menu stuff that never got I never got comfortable with, um, so it was a disappointment. And uh, I would trade, you know, the portability of the Switch in um, to uh, to what the gamepad uh, offers. Now I know that that is a huge selling point. So this is just me making a personal, uh, very personal uh, uh, observation and, uh, uh, you know, selfish, if you will, <laughs> uh, want. Uh, I'm not, me saying this is not going to make it magically happen, so don't get upset. <laughs> I know some people will be, oh my God, what are you, crazy? The Switch would sell five copies of five units, you know, blah, blah, blah. This is just me looking at it and saying, oh yeah, I would, me personally, I would trade it because I know a lot of people, um, a ton of people 
uh, buy the Switch because of its portability. I know that's a big selling factor. I understand that. I said that from day one. And, uh, you know, that, that is what it is. Um, but, yeah, that's, you know, something I would, you know, definitely uh, would rather have. Because, like I said, portably, I can play in the house. And I do that, or I did that uh, even then. And I do it now on my gamepad. I can walk, you know, almost everywhere on the first floor with no problems. Um, well, that was when I had, uh, now I just have a big wide house instead of a uh, kind of smaller, uh, you know, stacked house, uh, three stories. Um, so I, I don't have that issue. Um, I'm probably, I'm sure I haven't really tried to go from one end of my house to the other. I'm sure there would be some range issues there, but I don't really need to as far as where I'm going to be playing video games. Uh, the farthest I'll probably go is the kitchen area with the gamepad, and that's pretty much all I need, and it works fine, uh, even behind a closed door. So, um, yeah, I mean, I, I, um, I would totally trade that away. Now, I understand, you know, for everyone else, that's not the case. If you look at percentages of who uses what, how they play, like who plays mostly docked, who plays um, mostly uh, handheld, um, those numbers are getting pretty even. So, um, if not already more skewed towards handheld, I don't know. I haven't looked in a while. Last time, I think it was 60, 40 ish or something like that, or uh, 65, 35, somewhere around there. Um, it might be way higher than that now, especially with the introduction of the, uh, uh the switch light. So that's a possibility. Uh, but yeah, if you're looking at this and you're wondering why does the gamepad look different? I have a Nyko extended battery on here. So I have like what double the battery life as a normal uh, Wii U and uh, Obviously I modded my switch. You can see the uh, uh, Skittles colored <laughs> Buttons and all that but um, yeah, it's near really that has nothing to do with this video Just want to throw that out there and I, I just think it's funny because I've seen uh, articles lately talking about uh, not just articles but videos from youtubers saying oh uh, uh, the switch has the potential to sell more than the Wii and I'm like you know I guess Mac Michael Pactor said something about that and I'm like well welcome Michael Pactor I already made that prediction uh, over two years ago uh, before the switch even came out uh, basically after uh, the reveal trailer that was well, 2016 November I made the prediction that the uh, the switch would outsell the Wii it would be Nintendo's highest selling uh, console uh, obviously it's a hybrid so it's a handheld as well but that's why I said it would outsell the Wii because it had that factor and this is before the sales before you know it was safe to say these things you know I said it then because I saw the potential of what this device could bring, uh, especially if it had um, uh, multi plat you know, third-party games, which it was showing the potential to do that. I mean, you didn't really see it, but you knew Dragon Quest was out there. Um, you knew Skyrim Remastered and all that kind of stuff was happening. You knew, uh, what is that, 2K Basketball. You knew that was a thing, so you knew... Um, as long as it's sold, it would continue to get that stuff, and obviously it's done a lot better now um, with that. But you knew. So I said then that it would probably sell. Uh, it would. I, sell, I said confidently it would outsell the Wii. And people kind of looked at me, are you crazy? <laughs> it just came off the Wii U. Wii U sold like, you know, 13 million units, blah, blah, blah. But that doesn't mean, you know, the Switch was going to do that. So, like I said, I understand taking that portability aspect away from the switch to have the gamepad stuff um, would be a detriment to its sales I'm just speaking personally um, of my preference because I the, the gamepad you know didn't live up to its potential it wasn't tested in the ways that I was hoping for um, you know obviously stuff like breath of the wild um, which would have been really late in its life cycle would have tested it well but you know Metroid prime 4 would have if you know that but that all hindered on the Wii U being successful so um, that's where I'm talking from I'm talking from 
kind of that aspect or because um, that was one of the things I, I wanted me verse and that didn't happen they canceled that um, and speaking of uh, Deus Ex Human Revolution the me verse stuff was amazing in that game you could leave like voice messages and voice hints for your friends and all kinds of stuff you know they you know go to use them and it was like integrated into the game so it wasn't like you had to go out to Meverse to do it the Meverse which is uh, something I wish more games would have utilized was integrated into the game itself so you didn't have to leave the game to leave Meverse posts and all that so I thought that was just the potential man it's just amazing with that and uh, you know but you know this is like I said a pop unpopular opinion <laughs> Uh, what do you think? Um, I'm, I'm guessing most of you guys will pick pro uh, portability, but I'm sure there's a, uh, a contingent of you that will that would like to have uh, what the gamepad offered uh, for the Switch. Obviously, it wouldn't be called the Switch uh, at that point, but um, it would be cool. Like, it would be cool. Uh, what, what I wanted or what I thought about is just having a gamepad-like controller uh, for... Uh, whatever Nintendo's next console was going to be. And that was before we knew it was going to be the Switch. Um, and then even after, I was like, man, I wish, I hope I can use my gamepad uh, to, you know, utilize certain games in certain ways and stuff. But, you know, that was kind of a pipe dream. Uh, Nintendo wants everybody to forget about the Wii U. <laughs> you know, in some ways I can't blame them, but there was some really cool stuff that the Wii U brought. And uh, they, they utilize it in some ways in the Switch. They talked about that. So, um, but anyway, uh, the video's going on long enough. Uh, what do you guys think? Again, um, where, where do you stand on this? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Thank you again for watching and listening. And I'll see you fools next time. Peace out.